The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Welcome once again to our daily doctrinal Bible study through uh, the Vic Balbidu Evangelistic Ministry. Today we're going to take up the last pattern of the old sin nature. First of all, what is lust? L-U-S-T, lust. Well, it is an illicit, sometimes insatiable desire. It is an intense motivator. It can consume you and can influence all your thoughts and actions. Now, there are kinds of lust. The first kind is approbation lust. The most basic motivation it is the desire to be recognized to promote oneself. This is why youngsters dare each other to do certain things to get attention among their peers. And adults with approbation are like children, even though the means of gaining attention may be more sophisticated. The second kind of lust is power lust. Your desire to organize people who give you attention so you can control and manipulate them. The third kind, sexual lust often a substitute for romantic love. The fourth, materialism lust, desire for things and possessions. The old sin nature, which is inherent to mankind, is a constant grim companion, but faces one and two of God's plan do provide a solution to the sin problem. Phase one, salvation. Phase two, believer in time. Ponder on these things, fellow believer. Ahem. <clears throat>